What if you need something and it's an expensive item? How can you get it for less? That's what we're talking about today. Five ways that you can get those items that you need anyway, but figure out how to pay less for them. We can't cut back indefinitely. I was reading something about uh, the price of gasoline going up 50% in the last year, which is insane. And yes, we definitely are going less places than we used to, but you can't just stop doing your life because prices are going up. So we need to start finding workarounds, strategies to give us a little bit more wiggle room in our life and in our budget. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Lena. I make videos about money at home and I want everyone to see a brighter financial future for themselves and the people that they care about. We are so close to 1000 subscribers. Come and be a part of the community by hitting that subscribe button and ringing that notification bell. And before we get started, our friend Dawn at Money Mom got in a pretty bad car accident. So head over to her channel. I'll leave the link in the description and show her some love over there on her channel. First up is that you can buy workbooks and coloring books at Goodwill or the Dollar Tree or the Dollar 25 Tree as it is now. I have two little boys and um, my eldest really loves to color and you know he's getting into writing his letters and all that sort of thing and he goes through coloring books very fast um so if i'm buying them and they're like ten dollars a piece or six dollars a piece at the normal store it's like that's really painful and i do want him to have the opportunity to be doing that workbook or coloring that thing because he's refining all his fine motor skills and blah 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 but it's hard when it costs that much money for each new workbook. So while I was at Goodwill looking for a different school book that I wanted to do with him, I was unsuccessful at that, but I noticed that there were some workbooks like the get ready for kindergarten, you know, uh, summer workbook for second grade, those sorts of things. You can find used versions at Goodwill which makes them a lot cheaper than buying them brand new. The Dollar Tree actually has quite a selection of books, word search books, coloring books, um, learn your letters books, Sudoku books, all sorts of things. And they're really inexpensive. And learning is not something that I want to put off or wait till things get less expensive or wait till anything gets easier. I want to be doing that learning now because you can't get childhood back. So I want to make sure that we're still doing that. This one is a little bit random, but hear me out. Buy cough drops and not cough syrup. We have little kids, so it seems like we always have a cold. And it's nice to have something to soothe your sore throat or keep you from coughing so you can go to sleep because when you don't sleep and you have little kids, it does not work out well, at least for me. So when you buy cough syrup, it comes in these teeny little bottles and it's like $10. And that's quite a bit of money. And then you gotta think about how many servings do you get out of that bottle? So let's be overly generous and say that you could get 20 servings out of one bottle of cough syrup. Then it's gone, it's done, and then you have to spend $10 again. We get this huge bag of like 100 cough drops, and I think it's about $4. That means I have 100 servings. That means I have five times as many servings of cough suppressant for a fraction of the cost. So if you have little kids and you need a cough suppressant more than you might think, consider buying bulk cough drops instead of getting cough syrup. Next up is switch to reusable cleaning products. I was watching someone's YouTube video and they were talking about their Swiffer sweeper and they were talking about like the special cleaning mix thing and how to like refill that container and i was like wait a minute people buy refills of their special cleaner and they buy all those swiffer pads that they just throw away and i'm like man that's got to really start to add up so i guess our cleaning system 
is all about having things that we can throw in the wash. You don't have to have one of those disgusting mops that just drag the dirt all over your floor like you're envisioning, you know, that they use in the school cafeteria and pretend that when you squeeze it out, all the dirt comes out. Yuck. You can have something that's reusable and effective and not disgusting. So I'm gonna show you on the screen what we have. I'm gonna to try to include a link for that. So it's kind of like the Swiffer. Uh, you've got the mop handle. It's got that reusable mop pad on the bottom that you just throw in the wash. So you're not storing extra dirt in there. It gets totally clean in the washing machine, but you are not buying any refillable parts. And we just put a little bit of Dawn dish soap on ours and some water and you clean the floor and you can do this indefinitely without having to buy anything new. And that saves you money. We also have a huge stack of rags that we use for cleaning the bathroom. And then we just throw them in the wash, of course. We also have like a uh, window cloths. They make microfiber window cloths that you can just wash your windows with water, which makes it super easy and uh, safe for your kids to help you out and clean up all their little fingerprints. I just put water on my microfiber cloth and I have my kid clean the window, but that's the most cost-effective way to clean a window because water is not expensive and I can use that rag uh, so many times. The other thing that's easy to spend a lot of money on is that all-purpose cleaner. Well, we don't basically only have two different kinds of cleaners in our house. We have toilet cleaner and we have all-purpose cleaner that we use for everything else. But if you buy a little spray bottle of all-purpose cleaner, it can cost you at least five dollars if not more and that stuff uh goes away pretty fast if you clean regularly so what we do is we make our own so there are so many different ways to make a homemade all-purpose cleaner that is effective but i use some mouthwash sometimes some vinegar and a little dawn dish soap and a lot of water so very inexpensive to make. I do not have to run to the store every time I need new cleaner and it saves us so much money. So this makes my cleaning budget basically zero, which is where I want it to be. And my last two tips have to do with Amazon. So one of those is to buy used books. So if you're on Amazon and you find the book of your dreams, I have probably about a hundred books of my dreams, um, but I haven't bought all of them yet. I'm trying to read the ones that are already in my bookcase and limit myself to only buying books at garage sales because that's another great place to buy used inexpensive books. So you find a book that you really want to read scroll down a little bit and it says buy used. Sometimes it's a good deal and sometimes it's not, but check it out. Because if you save $5 on this book and $5 on that book, and if you're like me and you buy a lot of books, uh, that $5 starts to add up and it makes it so that you can actually have your book. So if you have a set amount of blow money and like me, you spend all your blow money on books, you could buy more books if you bought them used. It's also giving those books a second life. So we are reusing things that other people have already used, but you're getting the specific book that you want. Watch out for that shipping if you're gonna buy from a different seller. So you gotta add the shipping to the cost of how much the book costs, because if the book looks like it's so cheap, but then they're charging you $6 for shipping, it might not actually be cheaper. And lastly, this is one I just discovered. You can buy used electronics on Amazon. They have this whole program called Renew. I don't know if this is a new thing or I just don't buy electronics very often, but I was so excited to find this and I really wanted to share it with you guys. So electronics can be so expensive, but if your computer breaks and you use your computer to work, it doesn't matter how pinchy you are feeling, you probably still need to buy a new computer computer. So this is a way that you can save money and still get the thing that you need. So if you need a new computer and the new MacBook Air is $2,000, that's a lot of money. How could you get something that would do the same sort of things for a lot less? 
And one of the ways that you can do that is by going on Amazon and looking for used ones. So I wanted a small tablet, but I wanted it to cost the least amount of money possible because I have other things I'd like to spend my money on like food. Um, so I was doing some research and looking around how much could this cost? This is probably the most expensive option or one of close to one of the most expensive options, but you could get an iPad mini starting at $500 and $500 is a lot of money. So that's totally out of the budget right now. So I looked on Costco.com and you could buy a tablet for $140. I was like, that's pretty good. I'm going to look this up on Amazon and see how that compares. How much money are you saving if you buy it at Costco? Cause Costco often has some really good deals on electronics. So I, um, kind of trust that they're giving us a good deal, but you know, I wanted to investigate of course. So then I went on Amazon. I looked for the exact same product and I found it for 109. And I was like, how could it be cheaper on Amazon? And that's because the tablet was used and then they wiped its brain and then they packaged it back up and send it to you used. And I'm like, that's fine. You know, I don't need the perfect uh, original packaging. I just need it to work and be functional. So I saved 23% from what it would have cost to buy that at Costco.com. I saved that by buying it on Amazon, uh, a used version. I also love this because this means that old electronics are not just being pitched in the trash. They are being given a second life and being actually used. So I love being able to keep things out of the trash. So when you can buy used and it's convenient, also my favorite, that is such a bonus. So we got that. I did not spend $500 on a tablet. I only spent 109. So if you have an electronics purchase coming up that you can, just can't avoid, check out some used electronics on Amazon and see if it could serve all your purposes, do all the jobs you need it to do and save you a bucket load of money because 23% on an even larger purchase like a computer is a big deal. Let me know down in the comments, what is something that works really well for you to buy used? Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.